Welcome to the Vectorize, my friends. I'm John Silva, and today I want to make a comparison between Adobe Photoshop and Affinity Designer. If you are designer, if you are illustrator, graphic designer, and if you create using Photoshop or if you create using Affinity Designer, I want to bring this comparison side by side, okay? So if you don't know me, basically I do tutorials using Affinity Designer. If this is very interesting for you, uh, please, I'll leave the link here below so you can join to my community. So to make this a fair comparison, first of all, I want to create a document with the same size for Photoshop and Affinity Designer, right? So I'm going here in File, New, all right? And then I'm going to create a new document on Photoshop that is this one, right? I'm going to create this web 2560 and DPI 72. Okay, this one I'll create. Okay, how good it's created. I'll get back to Affinity Designer, create new, and then I'll go here to web, and then I'll create the same file size, all right? This one here. And then I'll check here the DPI. Okay, everything equals. I'll create. All good. Now we have just created our very first document. Now, what I'm gonna do it is to simulate inserting shapes. To do that, I'm gonna use Adobe Photoshop and then I will go here to insert the rectangle and then I will insert on here. You can see I'm dragging, I release the mouse and it's here. Now I wanna change the color. I go here on top, all right? And then nothing is happening in my object. Keep in mind that it is selected, all right? And it's not changing. So as I remember, because I've used Photoshop in 2018, after that I started to use uh, Film Designer. As I remember, you need to change over here the fill. And then you need to click here and then pick a color. I'm changing here the color and nothing is happening. You need to hit OK and then the color is being applied. This using Adobe Photoshop. And then we can move, we can see here how this perform. I want to select and let me try to resize this. Where is the resize button here? Oh, it's here. All right, let's test this right now on Affinity Designer. Using Affinity Designer, I'm gonna use the rectangle and then inserting here. Oh, look, performance looking smooth. I'll make this in red. I can change here directly on the colors panel is so far I feel more fluid and easy and then I can resize this look the comparison is more fluid and here on Photoshop you need to select here this tool look you, you cannot use this tool you need to select the rectangle in order to do this oh look I'm resizing and then it release to have the result and having this in mind this comparison you may think that affinity is best yeah, exactly. I think to win this point. Now, let's test here, my friend, the gradient tool. Let's try to use it, the gradient tool in the shape using Adobe Photoshop, all right? It's here, the gradient tool. Let's suppose that you are a beginner and you're going to try to use the gradient tool here. And you cannot do that. Why you cannot do that? I don't know. Because I, as a beginner, I would do that. I would try to apply here, but you can't. Instead, to apply this using this shape, you need to go here and then click in fill and then click here on top. And then you can apply the color over here. So you need to have a lot of clicks in order to have the result. Here, at least, it's changing in real time while I move the cursor on the colors. All right, and here I will hit OK again. Everything here you need to hit OK. Uh, I have here this mode, this radial. So I want to move this. So how can I move this? Oh my God, I always get error here. So I apologize if I don't know how to use Photoshop, but for me, it's not getting intuitive here, my friend. I will get back here. Oh, look, uh, I need to select this again. Just go here. So yeah, this is, there is that I'm getting. I want to remove this here. Yeah. Now, let's try to do the same functionality, the gradient functionality on Affinity Designer. To do that, I'm gonna open here, and then I go here in the Fill Tool, Fill Tool, and then I'll drag, and boom! My friend, look at this. 
I would change this color right now to something like that. It seems more fluid, right? Look, just need to grab the filter and change if you want to change to other modes like elliptical is here. There is even a bitmap where you can apply an image as texture. In the linear, you can easily change, create more nodes, it's faster, right? So by seeing this, let's give a point to affinity. All right, now it is time to test the raster persona, which is when you need to use paintings. If you are illustrator and you like to paint, use the digital paint to make a sketch. Let's give it a try using Photoshop here. So what you need to do is grab the brush tool. Okay, brush tool selected. Then I'm gonna select here, can be the, can be this one, the Kyle Ultimate Inking, this one. I will leave here as a thousand and then I will just uh, test here so it seems good fluid right it's not too bad uh, so i will try to do this let's see oh can you see again make it black and then oh, there is a bit of delay and then i will get here into affinity go to pixel persona paint brush tool and then i will make it this equal right so to make that happen i will go to the watercolors then I will select this one, the first one, make this as black, and then I will type here a thousand size. Now my brush has a thousand size, and then I will test this. Look, I will try another color. Again, a clicking seems to work perfectly, right? We are comparing the same size of brush, the same size of document to make this fair, to make this, uh, you know, equal. Now, let's try to see the clipping mask, how this will work. First of all, I want to insert a ellipse tool over here or using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, this one. And then I want to paint here inside. Okay, I want to paint. So having this in mind, I want to change my brush to the soft round, this one, that's fine. I'll make this as white. I'll click to, uh, to draw, but it's asking you to create and rasterize. Okay, I will create a new layer. It's here, new layer, and then I can paint. Okay, it's here. But let's say that you are painting like this. Okay, can you see? And I wanna make this inside. I need to click here, left click, uh, right click, and then create clipping mask. And now you can paint here inside, right? You can do this and paint inside. Uh, on Affinity Designer, we're gonna do that. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna start the ellipse. All right, it can be, this color here is in black. And then I will go here to, to Pixel Persona. I will grab the brush that is the basic with this uh, soft brush. Okay, I will add here, I'll change this to 1000, the brush size to make this fair. And when I change it, it's up, up here this assistant, which is created a new raster layer inside of the layers that was selected. Which one? The, this one. And then look, I can paint here inside without having to click to clipping. And here, I will be honest with you, on Affinity, when I started to use, for example, you are drawing, you just need to drag and drop the layer inside. So it's gonna clip this. Comparing this to Photoshop, the layer stays above, all right? I don't think that is very intuitive at all. So testing here the performance of moving the layers in between. Using Photoshop, I will move here, you can you see? Or here, and then Affinity Designer. Let me know, please let me know in the comments which one do you feel that is move, Affinity Designer or Photoshop? <music> It's time to show you and test the paint tool. Let's get started here using Adobe Photoshop. I'm gonna use the paint tool, all right, here, and then paint tool. And then you, we can, let's say, draw a shape because it is selected on here. There you go, you can drag and place on here. Having this in mind, let's try to move these nodes and try to control them. Okay, to do that, let's try to go here, this one, this two, and then you can move or select this point, 
and then you can move. You need to release and that you can notice that it is not doing in real time, right? It's not doing in real time. Okay, so we are just changing the shape and let's try to do that on Affinity Designer. Paint tool, turn it on. Then let's try to create a shape. It can be by dragging, oh, look, the result here appears instantly, right? The color is changing, all good. I can change here, compare Photoshop is, you know, it needs to release, it's not real time. Here on Affinity is in real time. You can have and change the options here easily on top, all right? On Adobe Photoshop, I found this a bit hard. Let's try to apply the stroke. Uh, here on Adobe Photoshop, I want to apply here a stroke like this. Okay, this one. Oh, I'm getting an issue here, I don't know why. And then I want to apply the stroke using Affinity Designer. I need to go here on Stroke Panel and then Add. I will make this as black. And then I want to add a pressure. You know, to do that, you can go here and then you can change the line with it. On Photoshop, I can't see this option. Let's see more options here. So this is the option that I have. So you need to go here and create here. And on Affinity Design is easier because it is all in one panel where you can apply the dash. Click here, it's with dash. And here on Photoshop, go here and then click here. So this is the comparison uh, with the shapes, the paint tool and the outline. So, of course, it's up to you to decide which one is best, all right? In that case, I will make this like equal, all right? But the paint tool here using Affinity Designer, for me, it's so far better and there are more options. All right, the last test that I'm gonna show you right now is gonna blow your mind. Why? Because I'm going to import some PSD projects here inside of Affinity Designer and also inside of Photoshop and see how the performance will work. So let's get started and show you how it's gonna work using Photoshop, right? I will open here. I will try to open these PSDs. I have a lot of them here. And I'll select from this until here, which is 36. I will drag and release here on my Photoshop. I release and then it's here. So, can you see that I have the file here and I release it and nothing happened. And then I need to click one by one as far as, as I know here. What's happening? It's not showing everything. So, what's happening? It's not... I will press ask. So, as I'm seeing here, Photoshop, it is still loading the file. Alright. Oh, what's happening? That all file has not been loaded here somehow. Oh, we have this one, this one. Oh, I'm having a bit of problem here. Where are the files that I imported? I don't know. Let's try on Affinity Designer, right? Let's give the change later for... So I'm going to select the same amount of files here, 36, can you check here? And then I'll grab and drop here inside of Affinity Designer. And then release, boom, it has uh, being ported all the PSD files in embedded. Okay, I'm moving here and let's open here out of Photoshop and crazily <laughs> it is still uploading. All right, somehow, oh, it's still here. I think each time, ah, now I need to click to import then. Uh, now it's importing, can you see? All right, they are becoming here, uh, it's still here. And then I will try to move them all. I will select them and then I will try to move here. Moving on Photoshop and moving on Affinity Designer. Now, now after we have imported these files, let's check right now the process performance. What I mean about this, let me show you. Uh, can you see the task manager? All right, I'm here with task manager. And then to make this uh, work well, because you need to be running with, with the app. The Photoshop here, uh, I'm just running here and then I will hit here. Uh, Adobe Photoshop, it is taking three and three uh, gigabytes basically of memory. Affinity Designer is taking 
one gigabyte. This is a great, a great comparison that you can see which one performs better. I have just loaded here a lot of PSD files inside of Photoshop just to see how these work and also inside of Affinity Designer. And now, which one do you think that is best, Affinity Designer or Photoshop? Please let me know on the chat and look, if you want to learn more about Affinity Designer, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and watch the lesson that I give you for free here during the live streaming. And then you can join the Vectorize Club if you want to learn much more from me. And I want to thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye. See ya.